out here working on the van. Grease everywhere. Yum, yum, yum. Anyways, today I had uh, multiple doctor appointments. And I uh, figured I'd go ahead and do a cancer update. Um, it has been... Let's see, I gotta think about this. This is July, it's almost August. So that would be eight. And then uh, eight. So it's been about 10 months since. I literally have, my nose is itching. And if I scratch it with my finger, it would be black. Anyways, it has been about uh, 10 months since my cancer treatment stopped and uh, I still have my port right there where they administer chemo drugs and take blood tests and all that stuff and uh, anyways a uh, couple of different things before I get on the latest news um, a couple weeks ago I went to a dentist I had black on my head. Oh, well. A couple weeks ago, I went to a dentist and uh, started the process of getting false teeth. And last week, I got to pick out the collar of my teeth. And I kind of looked at the dentist and I was like, whatever the whitest white is, does anybody pick any other choice? <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you mean I want to get to pick out the collar of my... I want all the black ones. Like... <laughs> So anyways, I guess they do have a color scale for teeth. And I guess that's really more for um, people that are getting bridges or they're not getting full denture sets. And uh, since I'm getting a full denture set, she said, yeah, most people usually go with the whitest white there is. So anyways, that was last week I picked the color. And today I went in and got to fit a uh a wax mold that had the teeth in them they're kind of checking for like are the teeth too big are they angled wrong that sort of thing and um they were too big and they were angled wrong so i thought i was going to be getting my new dentures on august 3rd but now it's going to be august 9th at the earliest and it may even be a week or two after that it just kind of depends on how all these fittings the next two fittings go um, anyways, back to the chemo doctor. So today I had an appointment at the chemo doctor also. And she congrat congratulated me on winning. And I was like, huh? And she goes, you won. You, you don't have cancer anymore. And she goes, uh, why don't we go ahead and get your port taken out? And now I was under the assumption the port was going to stay in for five years. And uh, she felt so confident that um, they could just go ahead and take it out now. Um, that was good news. I think. Because uh, I guess if she thought the cancer was going to come back, she would want to leave it in there, right? But um, she wants to take it out. So does that mean that she uh, doesn't believe the cancer is coming back? Or she wants a hospital to get another surgery <laughs> scheduled. <laughs> no, I'm joking. She's she's actually a really sweet lady, and I do not think she's the type to ride the cash register. Uh, so, yeah, I, I kind of think that she thinks it's not coming back. I do remember there were talks about this cancer being aggressive, and that, like, if it was going to come back, it would come back within the first six months after treatment. And since it hasn't come back, I kind of think that's what she's going by. I mean, it's been nine, almost ten months now. So, yeah, that was kind of shocking that she said that. So, I have my appointment to have that done on August 23rd. Mm, yeah. Maybe that's going to be the last surgery I ever have in the rest of my life. Would not bother me one bit if that was the case. So, anyways, I'm out here working on the van, as you notice. Um, you know, we're doing the whole planning to travel some, maybe for the rest of my life, who knows. But yeah, so that's the cancer update. That's really all I wanted to say. Um, I think I, I did 
the last cancer update and I kind of was just started the process to get my teeth so I didn't want to make any updates until I kind of knew what was going on but yeah so that was what I left out from the last cancer update and added it in this one and then I put today's news which is the chemo port coming out and that that is a good sign so uh anyways thanks everybody for watching god bless you oh one other important thing i guess i probably should say uh last saturday i got baptized i got baptized at the church of jesus christ of latter-day saints in fort mitchell on buttermilk pike something i've been trying to do for some time now and it finally happened and um so yeah one less thing i got to worry about now now if i can just keep it together <laughs> um anyway so yeah that's about everything that's happened in the last couple weeks as always god bless you god bless your families god bless your homesteads thank you